verse 25, he says, "...therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people." Now, this is a strange verse to many today that have been just talking about the love of God. The love of God's real, and you can't keep him from loving you. But God hates sin, friends. And if you are going to love sin, he'll love you. But the anger of the Lord is kindled against his people. This is not against the neighbors. It's against his people. And he hath stretched forth his hand against them and has smitten them. And the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the street. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. If they'd come to him, trust him, God would deliver them. But may I say to you, the judgment of God is in the book of Isaiah and also the grace of God, the government of God and the grace of God. And they're not in conflict. But my friend, if you're going to continue in sin and you won't have the grace of God, then you're going to know what the government of God is. Now he goes on in the rest of this chapter and you see the accumulation of the judgment of God. And Verse 30, the last verse reads, And in that day they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one look unto the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. Now, all you have to do today, if you doubt that here were a people that had served God and that judgment has not come, go over and look at that land today. I don't see it as a great many people see it. A great many people go over and see it and they say, Oh, isn't this wonderful? We're seeing the fulfillment of prophecy and the land is being reclaimed and all that. I see a people still in darkness. I see a people that are far from God. I see a people that need God today and they're not dwelling in peace. They're living in fear and in that land they're in grave danger today. And my heart goes out to them, by the way. May I say to you, the judgment of God And as one poem has put it, We have not wept for thy grief, Israel, scattered, driven, shut up to darken unbelief, while we have heaven. We have not prayed for thy peace, Jerusalem forsaken, thy roots increase. By God's great grace, we age long have partaken. How trod thy street, our Savior's feet, how fell his tears for thee, how loving him can we forget, nor long thy joys to see. Zion, thy God remembers thee, though we so hard have been. Zion, thy God remembers thee, with blood-bought right to cleanse. May he remove our prayerlessness, sin. May I say that I think expresses the thing that we have in this chapter here. God is punishing his own 